y'all, we're gonna have a lot of fun in this piano lesson. So I had this imaginary piano lesson with Robert Glasper. He was like, yeah, so do something like this. Mary had a Ooh. And he was like, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Then he was like, trick him with this. Oh, he went major. So watch this. Y'all know how Rob does. He always keeps it interesting. <laughs> now watch this. y'all we're gonna have a lot of fun in this piano lesson and of course i'm just acting like i'm having a piano lesson with robert glasper i could only imagine some of the insight that he would give us so that's the reason why i'm creating this long form video but i need your help i need you to give me a thumbs up if videos like this is what you're looking for and comment below maybe there's a certain part of this video that you enjoy or you just want to say what's up kc i promise i'm going to respond to you guys so first step that you hear Robert Glasper or any neo soul or creative musician, keep that melody line at the top. Mary had a little lamb. This works for any song. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. <laughs> this works for any song as long as you keep that melody line at the top. So, Mary had a little lamb. We'll just do that part right there. So, I'm going to now what am I thinking right there? Y'all know I like numbers. So this is a four, four over one. One, two, three, four is A flat over one, which is E, e flat. So this is a 41, meh. And then I'm gonna do a 56. One, two, three, four, five. Five over six, which is one, two, three, four, five, six is minor, C minor. So 56, so meh, meh. And now I'm thinking of this up. Y'all know I break down how to thicken your chords up in the Dirty Chords series. So this is Mary. This is my five over six. I'm thickening it up. And you get a chord like this C minor nine with 11. Had. And this is a four over two. One, two, three, four, A flat over the two, which is a F. And we'll do a seventh. Had. And I'll thicken this up. So Mary. I move this same chord up a whole step. So, so Mary had a, and that's a B flat or a five over three, seven. So before we get too deep into this lesson, I always encourage you guys to join our free club. It's absolutely free to join. And if you want to actually create an account with a donation, you can be able to download the PDF, you get the MIDI files, and all type of other things that are included. So let's talk it through. Mary had a. Here we go, next key. Mary. What am I doing there? Four over one. Mary. Because one is C sharp now, or a D flat. All right, so four, and this works. That's why I'm encouraging you guys to learn how to play in all 12 keys. All right, so let's break this part down right here. So we have Mary had a Mary. What I can do is, if you notice in the first key when I did this, Mary, I literally did a five over six. So we can do a five over six. So Mary. So five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mary, here we go. Had, that's my four over two. Thicken it up. 
you get this nice E flat minor 9 11. Had a move it up a whole step. So Mary had a. Here we go. We can do um, Mary go back home. I think we did a groove like this. in some nice little nuances but that's how to solo you already have a video on how to solo I showed you how to solo like Robert Glass but check that video out but anyway let's continue this whole phrase now the complete song so now we're gonna stay in the key of E flat so that was a little groove but if I were to do this again in the style of Robert Glasper Mary had a... now we're getting ready to the little lamb little lamb so we got a G and we're just sitting there. We need to keep some interest. So we can do something like this. Little lamb. <laughs> what did I do? My gospel musicians, y'all know this as a seven, three, six. So, oh, say can you sing? Or oh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saves. Y'all remember? I do all these 736 breakdowns for free on this YouTube channel as well. Some of y'all have been sleeping on me, bro. <laughs> I got a whole video on 736s. So that's what this is. This is a 736. So let's talk this through. So I'm doing this. This is basically a C major, and this is over a D7. So we're combining this together and opening this up into it like a F major, F, like an F9, really. And this is over that D, and this gives you that D minor 7 with the 11. And I like to thicken all my chords up, just like in the dirty chords. So hopefully you guys have checked out that video series. I don't even know what chord this is. My hands just went to it. <laughs> um, but we look at this as a G13 with a flat 9, sharp 11. All right. You know, this is standard minor nine with the 11. And then watch this, little lamb. This is in the expand series where I show you how to move and pivot out the key. I'm going to the key of F right here. So, Mary, well, let's go from the top. So, Mary had a little lamb. Here we go, little lamb. I'm in the key of F. So. So that's called my 462 movement or my bus 462 in the expand series. So uh, I'm just gonna give you what I'm what I would play there. So this is like a nice little B flat major nine. Little, we gotta keep that at the top. So little, little, there we do something like that D minor with the add two. So little, lamb. Nice and rich. Another minor 9 11. And that's a G minor 9 11. And then little lamb. So what we can do there is go back home. And then pivot back into this. So that's what we did there. So let me talk about what I did there. I just did a 2 5 1 in the key of E flat. So nice little minor line 11 Look, toe, toe. and I cover this in a video too this is over B flat so it's B flat 13 flat 9 so toe. that's a rootless chord D diminished 7 G minor toe. and then lamb just a 5 over 1 B flat major over E flat lamb. so that belly line at the top. Y'all know I love those flat nine, sharp five, sharp nine, these type of chords. I think this one here is a sharp nine, sharp five. And uh, we're in technically like a C7 here. So, and then now we're going back to close out this phrase. So, man, nice little minor nine 11, which is F, man, watch this. Nice clean, so this is B flat, 
over G, which is a five over three. And that's why I'm able to play in all keys because I'm thinking numbers the entire time. So five over three, Mary had. So now we're at A flat and it looks like we're at A flat major nine with the 13. So Mary had. And then what we can do is, uh, ooh. Now that's a nice little stretch. And you can play it like this if you want. This is one of those A7 with the sharp nine, sharp fives. But I like to keep it rich. So, so Mary had a. Let's close it out. Little, the same seven, three, six that we did before, except this time. Remember, I asked Rob to give me something different. He went like this. Little, Lamb, he went major <laughs> since we had the melody there. And that's nothing but a C9. And uh, we got a 13 in there as well. Here's the 13. Lamb, so Mary had a little lamb. Watch this. Who's it's a C major? And I'm gonna do a B flat diminished seven. Who's while keeping the G at the top? Who's watch this? Fleece. It sounds like a suspension, but it's showing C minor seven with eleven because it sounds like it needs to go somewhere. Who so who? Fleece, fleece. Let's resolve this. Fleece. Ooh, was and I don't know what I would call this. It doesn't either. F N C. Bro, I just let my hands lead, and some of you all, you're scared to let your hands just land. That's why you need to check out the Play Like You series where I talk about minor adjustments, showing you how to how to create crazy chords. Just having fun in the moment. So let's close this out. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece. Here we go. Was to me, I'm thinking whole tone. Do, 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 do. 30 chords, check it out. Whose fleece was, close it out. White, I think I might have did something like this. White, white. Our first chord that we started on, white. And then watch this, as. Now that sounds like a nice little seven or 13 there. Yeah, we got a nine with the 13 E flat. As, and then we went to this movement, slow. two keys right there. Now it feels like I'm showing off and I don't want to be that musician that's having fun showing off but not breaking down everything that I'm playing. So you definitely got to check out the expand series where I break down all these nice little movements to pivot off of the melody line. Check this out right here. But you all know I love you and that I never like to close any video without letting you all know that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity for you to become a better you. I love you guys so much.